Evo, bringing you the thrill of driving on iPad, online at evo.co.uk and in print magazine. I think it's safe to say when the original Cayman was launched in 2005, it was slightly the poor relation almost. I think everyone understood Boxster, everyone understands 911, and there was a slight awkwardness about the way the Cayman looked. This car, there's absolutely no doubt, it looks fantastic in pictures, and when you stood next to it or sat in it, it's a really beautiful car. It's beautifully made inside. You just get subtle hints of the, the curves in the car, the front wings, and you look in the mirror and the rear wings. It's a really lovely, lovely car to be in. It's got its own identity, much more confident design. So in terms of desirability, there's you have to make no excuses at all for the Cayman. I've got a Cayman. Isn't it a great car? That's all you really need to say to your mates now. Driving-wise, again, they've Porsche have, have really improved every aspect of the car. It's more mature to drive. It gives you tons of options in terms of the ride comfort and ride quality. This, this car's got PASM suspension uh, and Sport Chrono, so you can go from very, very comfortable, really supple ride and slowly ramp it up through Sport and Sport Plus until it just tenses the whole feel of the car. When a manual, and there's a, there's a few interesting things to learn about this. Um, they've added a throttle blip on downshifts, which if you're in Sport Plus mode, and it's so, so sweet, and absolutely perfectly rev matches. The guys at Porsche are quite clever with the cars they give you on these launches. This, I think to them and to us, it's the optimum Evo spec. So it's a, a Cayman S, PASM suspension, it's on 20 inch option rims, it's got carbon ceramic brakes, it's got sports exhaust and the whole thing just when the road opens up and you, you want to start pushing the car harder, it's so tempting and, and so effective. The roads are pretty slippy at the moment so we'll just test this system and see how much it lets the car move around. But already, I just want to stop. I want to stop talking to you and concentrate on the road because this is such a good, such a good car. You can, yeah, you can nibble away at the, at what traction's there, and it just slides a little bit. But there's enough of a safety net there for you to trust. Just we turn it off. For a mid-engine car, the Cayman has always been a magical thing in terms of the balance and the feedback and the feel it gives you. This car has taken it to a, another level again, I think. You just, you always have great awareness of what each corner of the car is doing. So you can load it up really precisely through the steering or through the brakes or through the throttle and you can you can drive it as close to the limit or as far over the limit as you want to go. And there just don't ever seem to be any nasty surprises with it. It's always telling you, oh, you could try a bit harder or, or I'd back off a bit if I was you. But either way, it's your friend all the time. It just makes you want to drive harder and harder and it's not intimidating in the slightest. The problem is you can only drive so hard on the public road and I, I really I really want to feel what this car is like on the circuit because although it's clearly brilliant as a road car, it's a Porsche and Porsches always work on the track. And this is the perfect place to do it. We're at Portimao circuit 
which is where we did our car of the year a few years ago, so we know the circuit pretty well. It's an awesome place. It's not a Porsche motorsport car, it's, it's a road car, and yet it feels as accomplished here as it does up in the hills, which is quite a surprise. Well, not a surprise, but it's, it just adds to your sense of how good this car really is. Balance is so forgiving. You feel it on the road, but you feel it even more on the track because you can push it that bit harder. And somewhere like Portimao, you're changing direction, changing gear, braking. <laughs> this car is just mega fun. I mean, this isn't exactly what you'd be doing on the track though. But <laughs> it does prove what the car is capable of. It's just a mega car. I guess you know the conclusion we're leading up to here, so there's no surprises, but this is such a good car. I could just keep driving it all day. Actually, I really just want to drive it back home now because this is my perfect spec. I love 911s, I, I love them you know, perhaps more than I should. And I've, I've always preferred a 911 to a Cayman. I think a 911 still does things this can't do. But as an overall driving experience, particularly for the money they can do it at, I just think it's, it's an extraordinary car, really extraordinary car. And I love it to bits.